Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about 10 tips to get yourself ASAP out of a rut. You know, now it's autumn, the leaves are falling off the trees, the days are getting shorter, the nights are getting longer. We might find ourselves every now and then a little bit down. We might find ourselves to be a little bit more in a rut because winter is coming and the days are getting colder and we don't know what to do with ourselves. So for these kind of days, I am here, don't worry, to give you 10 amazing tips to get yourself immediately out of a rut. So without further ado, Let's start the video with tip number one. Super simple, get outside. You know when you're at home and you're with yourself and your thoughts, it might be that it's easier to not do anything about it. It's so simple, put on a coat, even just go out with your pajamas and a coat on top, it doesn't matter. Go outside, fresh air, seeing that there are other people outside, Go into the woods, in the park, in the neighborhood. It doesn't matter. Get fresh air. That is my tip number one to get yourself out of a rut. So simple. Tip number two, connect to people. Talk to people. Call up anybody. Sharing problems with other people has proven to increase our energy level, to make us feel positive again. It is so, so important to connect to people, to not stay alone at home with your own thoughts, because that might get you into a worse depression. Tip number three, find a way to move. Even if it's just for five minutes, do some stretching, do some yoga. I know it's hard to get off the sofa and to push yourself to move, but you have to, because I promise you, Every time you will move, you will do some kind of an exercise. You will dance for 10 minutes in your living room. Nobody's watching. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you move. Because I promise you that afterwards you feel so much better with yourself. And before you start with whatever move you choose to do, promise yourself that afterwards you will give yourself a little gift. Like, for example, if I do 20 minutes of yoga, I'll make myself a beautiful cup of tea with some cookies. Something that will make you, let's say, force yourself to really start moving. Tip number four, be kind to yourself. This sounds so stupid, but you know, we're all raised to be polite to people, to be kind to everybody and to compete and to show our best selves. But we are very harsh on ourselves very often. You know, we are very often our own worst enemy. It is so important to be nice to yourself because when you're nice to yourself, you accept yourself more and you can say to yourself, okay, today I'm in a rut, but tomorrow I'll be on top of things again. So be kind. That is basically something that you should always be, kind to yourself. Tip number five, another one that is really simple, but so, so important. Get clean. You are in a rut, right? You're on the sofa, in your pajamas, eating pizza and whatever you are doing all day. Doesn't matter. As soon as you throw off all these clothes or whatever you're wearing, you go into the shower, you scrub, you polish yourself, you clean yourself with soap that smells nice. Put on some clean clothes afterwards and you will see that you already feel better about yourself. Another tip, tip number six, be your own parent. You know when we're kids that our parents are really sweet to us and they promise us the world and they make us believe that we can do anything and be anybody we want and then we grow up and they throw us in the real world and the real world can be really harsh and tough. And it's very hard to deal with the real world sometimes. As an adult, you have to be everything. You have to be responsible. You have to take care of yourself. So basically what we have to be is be our own parents because nobody else is going to stick around and push us and tell us you have to get out of bed. You have to get dressed. You have to go to work. You have to take care of yourself. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is think of yourself as a child and that you are your own parent and you are trying as a parent to be positive towards your child and to show love towards your child because that is what parents do. So that is, I think, a very, very important tip that you should always, always try to stick to during whatever situation you find yourself in your life. 
Become your own parent and guide yourself through the day like a parent would. Tip number seven, declutter your drawers, your cupboards, your office, whatever needs decluttering. You know, we have so much stuff nowadays. We don't need all those things. So as soon as you go through all your drawers and you make everything more tidy, like Marie Kondo has taught us, you fix your cupboard, you fix your office, I am 100% sure that you will feel so much better with yourself because an organized environment has proven to us that we have an organized mind and that we feel clean and we feel that we are in control. And this is something that you actually can be in control because you can be in control of your own organization at home. So that is, I think, a tip that you really, really have to try out. Whenever you're feeling in a rut and you don't want to do anything, at least go through your drawers, fix your papers, put everything in place again, and you will see how good you will feel afterwards. Tip number eight. Another very simple tip, but so, so, so important. Decide. Decide how you want to feel from the moment you wake up in the morning. Decide that you want to feel positive. Decide that you want to feel good about yourself. That is so, so important. As soon as you wake up in the morning and you feel negative thoughts entering your mind, stop and say to yourself, no, I'm not going to let this happen. I decide that I'm going to feel good about myself today. This is what it's all about. You start the day with the best of intentions. Nobody knows exactly how the day obviously will go, but when you start the day with good intentions of, I'm gonna be positive today, I'm gonna to be nice to myself today, I'm gonna to be a good parent to myself today, I'm gonna to declutter, get organized because that's what I can control. Whatever else is good for you. Whatever you decide that will be good for you that day will help you to get through the day and not fall into that feeling of getting into this rut that we don't want to be in. Tip number nine, drink water. This sounds ridiculous, but our gut is basically our second brain. So when we drink water, at least three liters of water per day, we cleanse our body, we get all the toxins out and we help our body feel light and good about itself. So we actually take care of our body by just giving it water. Like you water plants, we have to water ourselves. Water is oxygen, water is life. Start the day before you eat anything with one glass of water. You will remember my words. After one week, you won't believe what is happening to you. This will be so, so good for you, for feeling good about yourself. You will feel light through the whole day. Before every meal, drink a glass of water, and before you go to bed, drink a glass of water, which will also prevent heart attacks and other kinds of bad things we don't wanna happen. Tip number 10. So, so important. I'm laughing a little bit because when I wrote down this tip, I felt a bit silly, but then I thought, no, this is so obvious. This is what we should all do. Watch videos like this one. This is what I do all the time. During cooking, when I'm lying in bed late at night, when I wake up in the morning and I'm brushing my teeth, I listen to videos. I listen to podcasts of people who inspire me with their positivity. It helps me to stimulate myself to basically push myself to be positive and positive about myself, which is very, very important. So some of the people I really, really love to follow are um, Gary Vee, Jay Shetty, Marisa Peer, um, Abraham Hicks. I could name many, many more, but these are the people. Oprah Winfrey, for example, is also a fabulous person to listen to. She is so amazing, so positive. So that is my advice. And listen to me, obviously, because there will be many, many more videos to come. So I really hope that you like this video. I hope it's helpful for you. I hope I gave you some tips that you can actually use and say, yeah, that's a good one. And I hope to see you back on this channel because there will be much, much more to come about wellness, fitness, health, lifestyle, and beauty. Bye. Thanks for watching.